Love is a blessing as well as a test from Allah. It can often make you do the most unthinkable things. Imagine walking into a random cafe one fine day and falling in love at first sight. By the way, having a relationship before marriage is clearly forbidden by Allah. However, it happened in this story. So here we go. Before Asi Bogert Lamprey fell head over heels for Iraqi-born Noura al maturi the moment he set eyes upon her, his attraction was so strong that his brother joked about Bogart marrying her. Even though he laughed it off at the time, he could not stop thinking about her seriously as a life partner from that day onwards. But unfortunately, he did not have any contact of hers except for visiting that Wagga Wagga cafe in hopes of running into Nora again. Whenever he would go to the cafe, he would always ask the elderly lady worker about his love interest. After a long six months, Lamprey was finally able to track her down and ask her for coffee. Even though Lamprey had other things in mind, Nora wanted to keep the friendship strictly platonic. And it wasn't hard for her to keep herself reserved, as she had been brought up with a lot of Australian guy friends, and neither could she ever, in her wildest dreams, see herself marrying a non-Middle Eastern. But Bogart was already on a mission to expand his horizons, and as he fell in love with Nora, he fell in love with her culture as well. He knew that if he wanted to marry Nora, he would have to do things the traditional way. In those dear years of friendship, Bogart completely ingrained himself into her world. He read about her culture, understood their traditions, and embraced it. And it wasn't just cultural immersion, but religious as well. He studied the Qur'an every night in an effort to understand Islam thoroughly. The comprehension made him fall in love with the religion to the extent that he accepted Islam. When Lamprey told his very Australian family that he had converted to Islam, they thought he was going to go and join ISIS. They were not at all happy with his conversion. Their hesitancy was justified as they were not known to the 32-year-old's real reason for conversion. He had found true love in Nora, despite the remarkable cultural differences. But the concern was not just on his side of the family. Nora's family was equally terrified. Even though Matori was born in Iraq, she had very liberally grown up in Australia. Her family had always thought she would end up marrying someone who understood their way of life, not just religiously, but traditionally as well. Lamprey had already met Matori's family, but only as a friend. He requested Nora for a formal meeting with her father so that he could ask for her hand in marriage. He felt Nora would then take him seriously and consider marrying him. When Nora told her father about Bogart's intentions of coming and asking for her hand, her father decided to go on a long holiday of three months. Mr. Almatori wanted to keep Bogart on hold only to assess whether Bogart was in for the long run or looking for a temporary relationship with his daughter. Fortunately and as sincerely as ever, Lamprey stuck around. And not just that, he even spent time with Matori's to build a rapport with the other family members. Once he felt he had earned enough love and trust of the Maturis, he returned to them for another meeting. But this time, he got along his family as well. With that, he finally received Mr. Al Maturi's blessings. When Nora ascertained that her parents as well as everyone else was in a happy agreement, she consented as well. With their union becoming official soon, Bogart and Nora were aware of the cultural differences they would be facing eventually. Neither of them wanted to force their customs on each other's families and had assured the members that they were free to be a part of their union or could also opt to stay out and they would still be respected in either case. It was only important for both of the lovers that they and their families be respected by their spouse's families. In a surprising turn of fate, both the families warmed to the idea of embracing new family customs and traditions. The families decided to not only move forward, but make the effort to immerse themselves in others' culture. The Matoris learned to love Bogart like one of their own, and Bogart always felt Nora's mom to be like his second mother. He felt amazed to be treated by her family the way they did. 
Fast forward, they will all get together to celebrate Christmas, as well as Muslim holidays like Eid. Lambert's mother would make a lot of efforts for the Muslims and cultural festivals, and the Maturis would have Christmas lunches with the Lambrys. As of now, Bugert and Nora have a little family of their own. Happily living in Canberra, they have a baby girl, Jamila, who they are unitedly raising as a Muslim, but teaching her both their respective cultures. They believe in letting Jamila becoming her own person, rather than just forcing her down a specific path. They just want her to grow up and value herself the way they value her. And that, dear audience, is a love story of a lifetime.